Hey guys, and welcome back to HFC Mario Kart Mondays. This week's co-commentator is the one and only Hell Dragon. Hello, everybody. I uh, have this device that I don't know how to work, <laughs> so hopefully some racing will occur. <laughs> hopefully some throwing of the shells and some winning of the races. Let's go with my uh, usual guys. Who would that be, Mo? Now uh, Luigi, I guess. <laughs> Uh, well, it's nice to know someone recognizes Luigi's superiority as the better Mario brother. Alright, it's been a super long time since I played this, so uh, I'm just going to go with something random, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the last time you were a part of this was for the pilot episode, wasn't it? Oh yeah, definitely, and uh, again, you know, I still have more uh, experience with Mario Kart 8 than I do with 7, so this should be interesting. At, at this point, it seems like 7 is... <laughs> I, I I don't really want to say this, but it kind of feels like it the plebs' choice. Yeah, like the uh, jealous little brother who's so <laughs> mad that his uh, bigger brother, uh, his younger brother, is getting all the attention. Yeah, because Mario Kart Eight is newer. I don't know about the ra uh, mating relations of um, you know kart games. That's not privy. <laughs> that's not information I should be privy to. Well, I ask this every week, so I suppose I should ask it of you as well. What's your opinion of Mario Kart Seven, mate? Ah. Uh, you know, I played it a while back, it didn't really turn out to be that great, so I kind of just stopped playing it, and then, you know, you were doing this uh, Mario Kart Monday thing again, so I figured I'd jump back in every so often and just kind of pretend I know what I'm doing, which is kind of how I tend to get through most of my life. For most of these questions, I'm starting to feel like that guy off Inside the Actors Studio. Like, what is your favorite word? <laughs> if you could be a type of silverware, which would it be and why? I'd be... hmm... Possibly the knife, because <laughs> I'm more edgy and whatnot. I'm the sharpest knife in the drawer, James. That's just how I tend to be. That's how I tend to approach most of my life, and sometimes it works, sometimes it hasn't, but you know, I do what I can. I do what I can. What the hell are you quoting here? I'm not quoting anything. I'm just kind of... You were uh, playing off that whole knife question. Mm-hmm. Do you not want me to be a knife? I could be a different kind of utensil. I think we should get off the silverware talk, personally. I'm getting my ass handed to me over here. You're getting your ass handed to you. I don't know what place you're in. I'm uh, apparently last. You're last? I'm fourth. I don't even know what happened. Beat, beat, bullet bill coming through. Oh boy, oh boy, don't hit me with that shit. Oh, that is a bullet bill, okay. I had to get some that steered pretty good. I don't know all the optimal uh, cards. I just kind of pick something that worked the best. I still think I, should, I think I still think I should go back to unlocking like proper carts instead of cart parts. Yeah, yeah. Like, which sounds better to you? You unlocked the barrel train, or you unlocked the barrel wheels? Well, I like how the bullet bill ended like right in front of a banana, so I hit the banana. <laughs> Nicely done, <laughs> Luigi. Good job. Uh. Uh, I saw you just as I was passing the finish line. It was pretty great. Expert Mario Kart gameplay. Uh, this is going to be different for you because we usually cut out the stuff in between matches. So uh, be on your best behavior, Mr. Dragon. I'm not really expecting the win, so I'm kind of okay with it in all honesty. <laughs> I have already consigned myself to failure. I mean, this isn't really my game. It's Smash, as you everybody knows. So mm -hmm. I was only pretending to be bad at Mario Kart. See, if I could play a Mega Man kart, then I would totally be winning all the time, you see. Wasn't there, like, a Mega Man racing game on the PS1 or something? It was, uh, yes, it was. A uh, Battle and Chase, I believe, and I think you can play that on the Mega Man collection that's available for uh, PS2, like all the uh, original Mega, Mega Man games from 1 to 8. Mega Man Anniversary Collection, that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Well, is that, like, Mega and Gems collection for Sonic? Uh, yeah, something like that, but uh, Legends isn't available on the disc, you know, the underrated game. Uh -huh. How do you feel about that? Are you still salty about Legends 3 never coming out, or, or do you just not care? Well, I'll be honest, I'm not like a... I don't have the uh, same uh, love for Legends that other people do, but at the same time, you know, I liked what they were going with that. Like, I thought, like, if they could get the combat to work really good, I would actually kind of enjoy it. And it does kind of suck that... It took them all this far, didn't really go anywhere, and Capcom just honestly handled it in a really shitty way, in my opinion. Now, I love, um, and I, I, I seem to bring this up a lot as well, I love the Misadventures of Tron Bon, which I think uses the Legends framework, if not the engine. Feel free to, you know, correct me on that. But I went back and, like, emulated Legends 1, man, it was kind of boring. 
Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's clear the second game had the most improvements. Personally, the only Legends I played was on Mega Man, uh, Mega Man 64, which was a port of the first one to N64. And everybody's always telling me, you know, uh, oh, well, it's not as good as the PS1 version. Yeah, well, you still have to do this without any sort of a camera stick whatsoever, and it's clunky as fuck. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know. Like, and at the same time, what really wants me to, like, uh, play a game is, like, the setting. Like, I love the Battle Network setting. I love it. That's why I sticked with it for so long. But Legends just doesn't do anything for me in terms of the setting. I don't think it's interesting enough. But that's just me, like I said. It's very individual. I'll admit that. Don't worry about getting, like, a little bit too off-topic, by the way. There's no, like, topics that we strictly adhere to here on Mario Kart Mondays. It's all in good fun. There's no uh, Mario Kart RPG to be talking about. So. We can't advertise the following. Crash Team Racing, uh, Konami Crazy Racers. Oh my god, people are talking about that game? <laughs> I had that. As like, I think it was my first Game Boy Advance title. I think my first Game Boy... Oh, I remember. My first Game Boy Advance title, I actually had a decision between uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duel of Soul and Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. <laughs> Which one did you go with, Hell Dragon? I went with Yu-Gi-Oh, but Ugh. I did go back later after playing Superstar Saga and actually got a physical copy, and, you know, that was the game I should have went with first, because Superstar Saga is just amazing, as I've said, like, a thousand times on my ass.fm. Mm -hmm. well, we're gonna cover it at some point, that you guys were. Maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what comes up. I don't like to plan too far ahead. It's kind of depending on what comes up, you know? Yeah, that's more my goal, really. Oh, Rosalina has an ice world. That's not fair. Well, at least Luigi has a mansion. I I've never Mario been... has a world. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> I've never been a fan of Rosalina's ice world. I think they could have made a better galaxy-esque track. Because the Rainbow Road in um, the Wii version of the game was based on Mario Galaxy. Really? Yeah, because there were like star bits and whatnot. And it had... The music was like a remix of Good Egg Galaxy. Yeah, alright. Now... You know, I've never actually played uh, Luigi's Mansion. I should probably get around to doing that for some time. I don't know. It's like the perfect game to play on, like, Hallow's Eve. Because it's so short you could finish it before the sun comes up. That would actually be kind of a neat challenge. You know, just kind of, you know, do it before, like, the next day breaks or something like that. Yeah, dawn of the final day, 12 hours remain. Or something like that, I don't know. Yeah, how is Majora's Mask, by the way? I probably will never play it, because I really don't feel like... Like, I still haven't been Ocarina of Time, man. I'm just like... <laughs> I got so much other stuff I could be doing instead, really. I wish I had recorded you getting salty at Bongo Bongo. That was a thing to be hard. Bongo Bongo can go fuck himself. <laughs> I don't care. He's a piece of shit, and his dungeon fucking sucks, because it's so damn boring. It mm. is. Like, it's not hard, it's just dull. I kind of prefer the uh, the Spirit Temple over the Shadow one, but I'll let you have your opinion, I guess. Majora's Mask is good, but I would hope that your planning skills are top-notch, because you need to definitely plan ahead in that game. It's not like Ocarina, where you can just go from point A to point B, you know, willy-nilly, with no consequences whatsoever. Man, that kind of actually does sound like my game, because I'm super planning, man. You know, I love yep. to plan shit all the time, so yep, yep, yep. I, don't, I don't know. I mean, it's like... At the same time, I just have a bad time actually finishing 3D Zeldas. The 2D ones, I always seem to, you know, be more successful in actually beating. Well, don't worry, we uh, are getting you in on Oracle of uh, Seasons, and I got back to Mexi since the last time I was talking to you about this, and he said he's okay with that. That is cool, because that is my favorite Oracle game. I, I never completed either of them without, like, cheat codes. I think I told you this once. I got up to Varen. And I was like skipping forward because I had an action replay, and I couldn't beat her because I didn't have the hook shot. You didn't have the. How did you do the game without the damn hook shot? That doesn't even make sense. Well, I used the code to like skip through walls and the like. Oh my god, Farron is super easy. Otherwise, like I had more trouble with Onox. Onox gave me a hard fucking time. I got salty on that uh -huh. dude. But Varen, I killed her like first take, man. Uh, I, I could have done better there. I slammed into a tree near the end. Mm. Oh well. Look at these people with their three star ranks. Yeah. Well, as long as I'm ahead of you, I'm okay. I don't care. Go ahead. <laughs> I go for the throat in these sessions, by the way. It is Mario Kart. 
Fair enough. I suppose if I could kill you a bunch in Smash Brothers, and this is only fair. Yeah, Tom, look at the screen. Okay, okay, now turn the 3D on. Oh, what's that? It's a punch and it's coming closer. Yeah, punch may be bigger <laughs> than it actually appears. Yeah. Okay, what we got here? Oh, thank oh God. this was a good idea. I, I kind of didn't want to go on Cheap Cheap Cape. I haven't played enough Cheap Cheap Cape to know if I should be afraid of that or not. I, did you not have Mario Kart Wii? No. Okay then. I'll be honest, this game was actually sort of my first Mario Kart. <gasps> well, don't be like that. I didn't actually have those consoles growing up, because we had something called Lack of Funds. Oh, n now I just feel like the villain in this scenario. Well, you should. <laughs> <laughs> you dick. Yeah, especially since I just got... A new 3DS recently. Well, even then, I wasn't really interested in the uh, new 3DS enough to go get one. I mean, I like the whole C-Stick idea, but still. It's super comfy. I got the uh, new 3DS XL, and it's got a big screen, it's comfortable to hold, it's got the C-Stick like you mentioned, and it's just purdy. Well, that's good. I mean, it'll be interesting to see what kind of like new stuff they'll be able to do on it. Oh, well, it's got more processing power, so it's a, a, like a downgraded version of Xenoblade, which I'm still not sure how I feel of it. Yeah, didn't, uh, I don't know if a demo for that came out yet, though. Not demo, no, no. But I think somebody was able to test it and, like, kind of see where it was going. Oh, incoming Yoshi. Nice. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> you have a trouble back there. Oh well. Dun, 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 dun. Fuck! Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I like to call when I play Mario Kart. I like to call it scenic tour mode because ultimately that's what you're doing. <laughs> this is what I get for being all. Yeah, look at you having a hard time back there. Karma, karma cart. There you go, see? Oh well, better luck next time. See, that's the thing about Mario Kart, it's kind of hard to get like really salty like in Smash, which is a combat oriented game. Here it's more like popcorn, you shove it in your mouth, if it doesn't taste good, you just grab another handful of carting popcorn. Well, if you're... why would you eat more stuff that you don't like? <laughs> because I very clearly don't like myself all that much. Is that a... is a... Continue playing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go on, finish your metaphor. I'm dying to hear it. I don't know where that metaphor was going. Never mind. Uh, good job. Gonna be honest, I much prefer the uh, tournament feature in um, Mario Kart 8. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, um, you know, I hope uh, the one we are gonna get for uh, Smash on a Wii U, hopefully it'll have us, you know, have good lobbies for a change. Oh, you mean, oh yeah, the tournament figure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because uh, people have expressed concerns that it was a bit hard to organize. Well, you know, there's only so much we can do in that regard, I'm afraid. That's true. I mean, we do what we can. All right, go with random. Do 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 do. That mind me, just a giant Luigi, ready to race over the continents. Doing some adjusting on my end. Yeah. We'll try this one. The perfect cart. I should have looked up cart combos ahead of time, but that's how Link works, so meh. Yeah. Whenever things become slightly difficult, Hell Dragon refers to it as work. Yeah. Well, what's important is that you focus on the work that matters. Yeah, that is also true. Alright, let's rock. Now let's see Bowser this time. And the GameCube version of this. Wait, no. That's the GameCube Luigi Circuit. Or is it? I'm not sure. In any case, in one of the Luigi Circuits, Luigi's Mansion is actually like off to the side of the track itself. Really? Uh-huh. Don't worry. Fire your red shells. There we go. Fucking hell. Was that you? No. <laughs> Don't lie, I can tell the tone in your voice. 
No, seriously, it wasn't me. I didn't have a weapon that shot that. Okay, well, no, we you star powered though. Star power, yeah, that was me. I don't think <laughs> I hit anybody with it though. You hit me. That's how much you care about me. You describe me as nothing. Well, we'll uh, we'll see when the uh, tape comes in. Do, 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 do. Jesus Christ. Oh, you're not doing too bad this time. Uh, I picked a different card, and uh, I tend to do better with Bowser anyway, I suppose. Well, you favor top speed over, like, acceleration. I don't know what the god stat is in this game. I think it was acceleration from what I heard. I don't know. Hello. Hello. So who are you playing as? You're me or whatever? No, I always play as Luigi, mate. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't play Mies in this game. Or can you? No, you can. You just have to unlock them. Oh, okay. But, meh. I, I, this is a used copy, so I actually had like a pre-existing uh, me on here. I think his name was Danny or whatever. Why? I was like, <laughs> no, that no. would be weird. I should just totally play him on like uh, this, you know, Mario Kart Mondays, just to see if he notices. Danny, I got your game. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> this game is haunted. Yes, victory music. It is the sweetest. Bullet Bill at 7th place. Item management! Nice. Well, uh, could be worse, you could be playing um, 8. Oh eight. yeah, that's true. Eight's pretty well, we're going to be doing that in a bit, won't we? Uh-huh, 8's pretty crazy with its item placement. We've got it on Frantic this time, by the way. Don't worry, I double checked. Well, that's good. Frantic, I find, uh, makes for a better, you know, Mario Kart experience. Mm-hmm. Especially with the item balancing of, um, <laughs> you know, hate, so. Yeah. I'm just going to go for, like, a random race every time to speed things up. Same here. I don't really mind either way. As long as it's not Toad's Turnpike for, like, an hour, I'm all good. They don't have that in this game, do they? <laughs> no, they don't, mate. All right, I'm just checking. They've got Coconut Mall, though. Coconut Mall's good. I like Coconut Mall. Mm-hmm. The next DLC pack for 8 is coming in May. What do, you, what do you think it's going to entail? Because we know, like, the characters and what cars are in, I think. Um, I don't know. I, I Just as long as they're providing a good deal, like they've been with all the uh, other DLC packs, I wonder if they're going to do anything like that with Smash. Like, I know we're going to have Mewtwo, obviously, as a character, but beyond that, I'm not sure if we're going to get any stages or whatever. I don't know. I think if they don't, they're missing out on, like, a great opportunity to provide, like, well-priced, engaging DLC. Because DLC, in and of itself, isn't a bad thing, it's just that some companies tend to exploit that fact. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, I got two stars in a row. That means uh, Tom's movie is mediocre. <laughs> Alright, Eva, calm it down. That's oh, a good job I got a second screen here, because I currently cannot see shit. I was just about to say, I'm kicking ass, and there's the great equalizer. <laughs> you having fun? That's a problem. <laughs> It'd be a shame if something were to happen. Let's see if Daddy Miyamoto can't fix that. I want to see Miyamoto as like a gangbanger now, that'd be great. <laughs> what the hell? Why not? That'd be awesome. <laughs> He's wearing like a cheap ass, you know, fucking suit or something. You got my money? You got my play coins? Oh, no, I see someone's got that blue shell. Let me cross the finish line. No, I was so close! I was so fucking close! <laughs> <laughs> was that you? Uh, as what? I'm the only Bowser, so. Alright, so it wasn't... <laughs> I'm kind of salty right now. <laughs> I was literally a foot from the finish line. <laughs> I could have oh, well. taken... <laughs> you know what? Fuck the popcorn analogy. Throw it in the trash. I'm done. See, he won't eat any popcorn without salt on it. <laughs> this is true. Oh, man. That, that got the blood rushing through my veins. Something first. 
Now, if only you could bring that to Smash Saturdays. <laughs> well, you know, I'm too busy flying off the stage. I ain't got time to, like, analyze that stuff. That's true. It's like, oh, well, I'm going. Oh, well, I'm going again. <laughs> also, I beat you using your main, so I'm satisfied. Well, I could beat you using my main when I use my main. <laughs> I think we've established that, by the way. Mm-hmm. You know, we've done ten episodes of Smash Saturday so far. I know, I'm waiting for it to get cancelled. <laughs> well, just say the word and I'll, uh, <laughs> you know, I'll help them take Saturdays off. I will say, I don't though... I know why we fund this show, it's not very good. <laughs> funding, that's a good one. But I find it much easier to, uh, like, settle down or settle in for Smash Saturdays as opposed to this. I don't know, I think it's just like... Mario Kart 7 kind of dulls it a bit for me. It's a fun game, but it's nowhere near as fun as 8. And, um... Y you know, y with you, there's a constant co-commentator. I have to, like... Well, I don't have to, but I would kind of like to make this slightly different to Smash Saturdays. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just, like... You know, you do what you think is good, really. But Mario Kart's more your thing. I, I, I got, like, you know, Smash under control, so to speak. That was so cash, I wish I had dodged all of those shells. That was so cash, I got promoted. <laughs> Skype's not doing that thing where it lags a bit for you, is it? It's doing that a little bit, it's not too bad. Okay, I was gonna say, I thought your reaction time was just really slow. I might be talking a bit slow, I might just, it might just be Skype. I don't know, I'm just kinda, I'm here. And really, that's all we can ask for. Uh-huh. I won't let you down, won't let you down. I haven't listened to that recently on loop. Oh, that's the thing you posted on Twitter today, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the my current favorite song I'm obsessing over. I, for some reason, don't ask me why. Sorry about that, by the way. I started listening to Dreams by Van Halen, because, like, oh, shit, I remember this from the Power Rangers movie, which I saw about six or seven times. I forgot that Van Halen was in the Power Rangers movie. I it, really did. It's been so long since I've seen it because, you know, it wasn't a good movie. So, um, of course, I'm going to avoid that. Well, you had the oh, come on. Let's be honest. You let's the, be honest. You had the Ninja Rangers. You had Ivan Ooze. You had a terrible CGI Megazord. What more do you want? Look, I liked Ivan Ooze, all right? I thought he was pretty great for, you know, the kind of subject matter. But uh, let's face it. The movie was not that good. <laughs> son of a bitch, Wario! Sorry. Current status, maximum mad. <laughs> Easy mode victory, the best kind. That's how you know an American is playing this game. <laughs> I tied with you? I know, that's offensive. <sighs> Alright, well I'll just have to knock you down a peg in the next race, just so you, uh, you don't come in front of me over on the rankings. And then, if we can't do it there, I guess there's only one way we'll have to settle this. Settle it in Splatoon. Yeah, it Sure. I think we'll play a bit of that. It seems pretty fun. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll give it a shot. I'm not sure if it's going to be a weekly thing yet. we got to actually see the game first before. Like, it could be shit. We don't know. Oh, well, I don't know. I heard kind of sketchy things about the online setup where you need, like, eight people or it won't play at all and so on. Yeah, I really think it needs bots just to make sure people can play. I, I, bots aren't optimal obviously, but at the same time, you want to make sure they can use your game. Also, that, that's my requirement, personally, when I take a game out of the box. Yeah. I just throw it back in the case. I don't want to use this. Also, no voice chat during play for a team-based squad shooter. Well, I mean, it's easy to see why they did that, because you know what's going to happen, even with a uh, you know, game as friendly as Splatoon. We're going to be fucking cussing and swearing, because I know I will, like you fucking <laughs> Well, th th that's not the point. If you made it, like, friends only, that would be understandable. But it's well, just let's be honest, if you're going to be playing people and they're going to be kicking your ass in that game, it's going to not be friends very soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's, like, two different settings. For friends, for former friends. Oh, hey for there. frenemies. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> not much, just walking down the street. Rainbow Road's looking mighty fine tonight. Yeah, that's true. Too bad people keep bumping into me while I'm trying to appreciate it. Oh, can't see diddly dick. What do you think about Seven's Rainbow Road? Um, it's not my favorite. I, no. I honestly prefer Eights more. Mm -hmm. Which, you know, Eights isn't that great. I, I just can't get into this one for some reason. 
I don't know. I, I guess you take what you can get, and really, I just think eggs. Eights is uh, a lot better. I said eggs for a minute there. <laughs> Mario Kart eggs, you know, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Yoshi mod or something. I mean, you can play like 10 different Yoshis in that game anyway, so. Black Yoshi is my main if I ever decide to play Mario Kart 8 with a Yoshi. Really? We're going to do like competitive Yoshi mains all of a sudden? Everybody knows that Blue Yoshi is the best. I wanted like Purple Yoshi, but no, he's not in Mario Kart 8. You gotta go to Smash Bros to play Purple Yoshi. That's really kind of weird, yeah. Let's see, will I place in top 3 this time, or will fate dick me over? Probably either one. These meteorites look like space potatoes. Yeah, I'm not sure how to feel about that. No, no, <laughs> Was that a, a, a wow, I, I thought I had keys problems during commentary, but apparently you've got them too. I'm sorry, okay, whenever I lose at Mario Kart, I just channel a goose. Is that your spirit animal? <laughs> it's my stun. <laughs> oh. Goosey Lucy. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Standal power. <laughs> Do you get that image I sent you of like that? I think it was like an image model or something, like, hey, I'm Grump. I don't think I did, and yeah, fuck you, Latiku. Um, no, I don't think I did. You'll oh, have to link me that. It was mildly funny for internet humor, I guess. Well, I mean, if it's mildly p funny, that's definitely worth sending over on Twitter, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, let's start the game. I control the UK, apparently. That guy owns Sweden. You've got Florida. He has Portugal. Well, let's be honest, it's really easy to rule over Florida. There's not really a lot of resistance. <laughs> yeah, ever since Bugs Bunny cut it off from the main continent, it's just been, you know, a free-for-all. Let's see, uh... <laughs> I never change my car. Live dangerously. We'll just try this, see how that works. Lock it up. Oh, hey, I like this track. What's it called over there? Neo Bowser City. It's Cooper City in this one. That's not a good name. It's kind of boring, actually. That's censorship for you. Like, Are you having fun? <laughs> we'll just have to stop that. Neo Bowser City is actually kind of cool. It's like Neo Green Hill Zone. It should have been called New Bowser City, you know, because that's apparently how you're supposed to name it now. Uh-huh. Now you know, there's a lot of new features to this uh, city you can't get in the old city. I think I told you about this, but in, um, I think it's Triple Trouble, like Sonic, there's a level called Atomic Destroyer Zone. That's kind of hardcore. <laughs> it is, yeah. That's like fucking badass McAwesome place. I kind of want a classic 2D Sonic again, I'm not going to lie. Well... That's probably what we're going to get now, since all these other games apparently are not working that well. Well, the next one is a runner game, because, you know, that's going to be a very interesting addition to his portfolio. Uh -huh. uh, as long as it's good, he needs a good game just to sell things again, I think. Yeah, but it's a mobile runner game. I'm kind of doubting that, let's be honest. Well, it runs forward on its own. How bad could it be? I don't know. <laughs> I thought Boom was going to be okay. No, I don't think anyone thought Boom was going to be a success, mate, let's be honest. At the very least, we were all thinking it was going to be mediocre but not offensive, but it looks like we were proven wrong there. That old Sega, they always know how to defy our expectations. Uh-huh. They may not have made it, but they signed off on it. Uh, it is kind of lame that this is, like, the second time this has happened, though. Uh -huh. Like, first it was fucking, what was it? Who was the guy that made Alone uh, Alien Colonial Marines? The one guy, apparently. There was just one. Oh, Gearbox. Like, yeah, Gearbox, yeah. Well, fuck Gearbox, anyway. But, um, yeah, and then it happens again with fucking... What is it? You know, Big Red Button. That's just kind of not fair, really. With the ex-members of, like, Naughty Dog and whatnot. And I wonder why they're ex-members. I guess now we know. Oh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna hold my tongue on that one, I think. Oh? Is there something you need to tell the class? Well, you know, it's kind of mean-spirited, but... Um, I sort of agree, let's put it that way. I like it when things are mean. It's awesome. 
Whoa, too fast! Too fast, can't drift! You're the one playing Sonic and now you're complaining about, oh, it's too fast, I hate it. <laughs> oh, shut up. Have you played Boom? That's like the slowest shit ever. That's true. Well, what about Sonic Labyrinth? What's slower, Boom or Labyrinth? <laughs> Robotnik sneaks into Sonic's house and replaces his shoes. God damn, like, how did he manage that feat? I mean, you've seen the dude, right? <laughs> Pretty no. sure he eats sneakers when there's nothing else. <laughs> Not exactly sneaking material. Have you seen the um, the April Fool's Day thing that me, Gareth, and Johnny did? Uh, what did you do? We did Sonic Labyrinth. Oh, yeah, yeah, that. I remember that. And that was in 2013, I think. Wow. You know, our seven-year seven, seven year anniversary is coming up in March. No, what no, a milestone. <laughs> not, not like you and mine. I'm talking about HFC. Yeah, yeah seven whole years and we're still together. <laughs> Bless. See, that's how you know you make a couple worse. You just gotta <laughs> let the other guy win sometimes. Uh, they gotta be writing fanfics. They probably already are. Right now, as we speak. <sighs> Thought it was gonna be your typical HFC Mario Mondays, but no shipping material. This stage... No, this shit's getting kinky. I feel hot right now, how about <laughs> uh, you? Warrior's Galleon was the setting. Ugh, I don't like this stage. I think I've raced on this, like, once. Uh, I'll uh, try and get you in for future sessions of this, and we can uh, up your Warriors Galleon ratio, I guess. Oh, I'm not saying we need to do that, you know. Like, that's not exactly a huge priority on my modus apprendi. Work! Responsibility to the group! Oh, no. Definitely not. Well, this stage is pretty bad. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm agreeing with you there, but, you know. Okay. It's just like that one, uh, what was it? What was that one, uh, you know, water based stage in Mario Kart 8? But this, that one was fun, and this one is just ungodly awful. Water park? Yeah, the water park one. That one was actually good. Or the one with the dolphins. That's the one I'm thinking of. Oh, Dolphin Shoals. Yeah, yeah, that one's actually fun. It is, yeah. Although, if they had, like, a whole Mario Kart game that was just around different variations of Electro Drum, I'd probably buy it. <laughs> yeah. This one is jungle version, this one is fire version. Well, that'd be cool, you know, take all the normal stages, but give it, like, you know, neon stuff. I mean, that's worth an extra $40, right? Hell, they did that for a Sonic Boom pre-order bonus. Oh god, yeah, I remember that. Like, who... Like, I love how since that's a new thing, like, now they have all these stupid shitty bonuses for pre-ordering. Like, I'm supposed to fucking care. Like, I also hate it how, you know, like, in the new, uh, what was it? The new Mortal Kombat, you pre-order so you can get Goro. I'm like... Fuck you. Well, I can, that. can you get him in the game normally? You probably can, but you gotta pay extra for something that should already be in there to begin with, so fuck him. Mm. I'm not planning to play that game anyway, but still, I oppose it on principle. Okay. Oh, speaking of fighting games, New Dissidia. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm really looking forward to seeing how that's gonna work out. Like, again, you know, we're probably gonna get a port to the uh, PS4, so I'm actually pretty uh, interested in that. Are you waiting until, like, um... I was about to say Kingdom Hearts, but that probably would have been a bad example. Are you waiting for games to come out, period, and before you get a PS4? Ah... Uh, not really. Like, I gotta have a real, you know, big incentive to get a PS4 right now. <sighs> I gotta have a real big incentive not to scream right now. Uh, you don't want to be salty for the you know, Mario Kart Mondays? Uh, let me cross the finish line, and then I shall answer that. Nope, no reason to be sorry. I was doing good. I was doing well there until I just kind of fucked up on myself, so well. Uh huh. How'd you mess up this time? I just fell into a pit like right before the finish line of the last lap, so. Damn, man. Look at that ratio. Mm mm mm. Oh well. Is that a garbage truck? I hope not. Wow. I need all that garbage. <laughs> Mario Kart's getting really interactive. <laughs> like if you do poorly, it, it turns up and throws you in the trash. Yeah, this is the uh, urban Mario Kart, as you know. It's like a SimCity expansion in a way. Pendulet joins the brawl. Actually, I think there was a game like that where you can make a SimCity, you know, city, and you can actually drive through it. I thought you were gonna say where it's like a Pendulet racer or something. Every item is a trash can. Okay. Fair enough. 
I'm down to clown with this one. <laughs> Let us, as the Romans used to say, play some Mario Kart. Nah, uh, you'll have to cite your sources <laughs> on that. It's been a while since I've taken a history class, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I never was one for uh, history. You know, I guess that's why I'm so doomed to repeat it all the time. No, I like history, it's just that I can't remember much of what I learned in school. I go to Russia, try to take it over, I freeze my ass off. Wait, <laughs> nobody warned me about this. Wait, you mean this isn't Costa Rica? What the hell's going on? Oh, I accidentally hit the volume up a little bit. My bad. I'm gonna be honest, the loud ass in game music will probably drown it out. That's true. Like, I, I just had my uh, 3DS like playing normally while I was setting up without the audio cable in, so it fed audio to the uh, PC, and it was loud as hell. I could hear it from like downstairs as I was walking up the stairs. Someone will find that important. <laughs> Turns out Hell Dragon doesn't. Yeah. What did you do today? Well, I jumped across a giant flower and I fell into the drink. Uh, I've started my uh, <coughs> diet properly again. It's, uh, well, I won't know how it's going until the end of the week when I measure myself again. Yeah, you gotta uh, measure yourself consistently, that's how you know. Same time every day. Don't bother doing it at the end of the day, you'll just get like a false positive or whatever. I always uh, measure my weight uh, like after I get out of the shower, because I figure, fuck it, I might as well, right? Uh huh. So that's like every few days or so, and then I, I'm also tracking what I eat, so I can, you know, kind of keep tabs on where everything's going. Ah. <sighs> Fucking toad! Oh shit! It's not. I, I I didn't. I didn't realize there was another lap. I'll tell you what I found since like we stopped doing retakes. I find that my uh, like ad living has become a little bit better. Yeah, uh, I I usually find um, you know when I'm writing a lot of like jokes and things like that on my own, my ad living tends to be a lot better overall. Since I haven't been doing that in a long time, I feel I've kind of gotten shitty in that regard. Uh huh. Like, I'll, I need to go back I'll, to that. I'll stumble a little bit and be all like blustered and whatnot, but uh, I get there in the end. If this was like last year, that would not happen. Mm -mm. We'd be restarting that part. Let's restart the whole Mario Kart Monday. Fuck it, do it again, but I don't lose this time. That'd be nice. It shows how far I've come in like getting over there. Because do you remember, like I, I forget how long ago this was, but we were recording episodes of Nightmare. And instead of like use what we had, I some for some reason insisted on like doing the whole thing over again. I don't really remember that that much, to be honest. It's up on like Blip somewhere. If that channel is indeed still up. Oh yeah, Blip is like closing down, isn't it? Is it? I heard that they were gonna do that. Like, like their finances were not that great. That's what I heard. Well, maybe they shouldn't have let every ten a penny let's play it in there. <laughs> Nervous pull of the shirt and whatnot. I thought it was like, uh, you know, like after a while, that's how they started and they kind of just limited it to Nostalgia Critic and his friends. Yeah. So that was a great name for a website, right? They should yeah. make a whole thing about that and then put the characters who are only in there for like a few weeks, put them on the top banner. They're important, trust me. That is so true. I mean, Jesus Christ. It was literally just a Nostalgia Critic circle by the end of it. Pretty much, and again, you know, I just hear they're going to shut down. That's what I heard. I've seen letters for that. I don't know what they're going to do, but also, that's what I hear. Also, at least I wait a week without any, like, knowledge of where people are before I fire them. Just throwing it out there. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Fifteen minutes, Jesus Christ. Oh, Alright, on to happier topics. Waluigi Pinball, mate. That's not a happy place. This place is hell. <laughs> oh, Jesus, we are literally in hell right now. Hell is other Waluigi's. I don't want to go to Mario's parties anymore. He takes them too seriously. Yeah, well, I'll invite you to my place, and it's the worst fucking shithole you could ever find. Music's really good, though, so don't worry about it. Definitely not denying that. I do like the uh, music in this area. Area 1, Waluigi's Pinball. <laughs> Action! It's like, and it turns into like a fucking, what is it? You know, like Time Crisis or something? Uh-huh. 
You know what I hate about Dave and Buster's? Uh, Dave and Buster's is like a uh, restaurant establishment over here with like arcade games and things like that. They have so many damn shooter games. Like there's nothing else. There's just this shooter or you stand up when you're shooting or you sit down when you're shooting. You know, like they need a bit more variety than that. Well, it's funny you say that because they've showed off the Luigi's Mansion arcade game, which is like it, it just grabs assets from Luigi's Mansion 2 and you just go around like catching ghosts in like a time crisis esque kind of thing. But the peripheral you, you use is a vacuum cleaner. That's awesome. Also, I do tell a lie, I just remembered they actually did have a, uh, a Mario Kart GP via arcade game. Oh, I've uh, always wanted to play that. There were two of them, I think. I played it. It is pretty good. The weird thing, though, is that they have like these Japanese-only characters that I have no idea who they are, but for some reason they're part of the game. I guess they were funding it. I don't know. Well, Namco made the game, so there's the... Uh... Well, that's true, but it didn't have Pac-Man in there. We totally should have seen Pac-Man and Smash come in, actually. Although, let's be honest, I think a lot of people kind of were, like, hoping for Pac-Man, seeing as Namco did make, or helped to make Smash 4. Yeah, that's true. I mean, like, Pac-Man I, I, I expected, because Namco was obviously doing stuff with it. But you, Ubisoft, meanwhile, did shit, so... Uh, well, we'll save that for Smash Saturdays, I guess. Never allow a dinosaur to drive. <laughs> he just doesn't get it. That's why all these guys went extinct. Like they're, 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 <laughs> yeah, because they outraced each other <laughs> off of cliffs. You know, they were playing the biggest game of chicken, and that's really what happened to the dinosaurs. Son, son of a bitch. That, oh, for fuck's sake! But I was getting... Oh, I guess it makes sense I was being pimpled so fucking much. And that's the game. I was doing good. Pinball hits me. Everybody else catches up. And now I am comfortably in sixth place. Nope, I'm going home. See you guys later. Son Good of a bitch. game. Well designed. <laughs> For whatever reason, they took the pinball off the bottom screen map in this one. You could see it perfectly fine in DS, but not here. I don't know why. Just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. I suppose. Uh, the finger wag of disappointment. Oh, I don't care. I have better career prospects than him, so... <laughs> Okay, moving on. I unlocked a new thing for getting 900 coins. That's good. And we shall see what it is in uh, the next lot of races. Alright, let's start the game. Oh, a sky in here? I don't think that's the sky we know. Okay, okay. I guess sky <laughs> is a pretty common name uh, in anime. Well, I heard sky twice in my life. Once was a character on the soap Neighbors, and the second time was obviously, you know, FTCR sky. Oh wow, it's the barrel train. Actually, I'm going to go with her. There we go. For some reason it locked me out of pressing A, just so I could watch the barrel train spin over. Now the barrel train as a like a, a proper car was in Double Dash, and you know whose car it was? Whose? Diddy Kong's. Ah, okay. <laughs> the hoo-ha mobile. As you know, uh, when he went off off a ramp, uh, he could attack anybody in the air for a guaranteed combo during that time. Wow, I was actually getting salty with every word you were the. Luigi I... gets a raceway, he gets a mansion, but no, Mario and Rosalina gets a world. Rosalina is new. She shouldn't be having this much power this early on, you know? Uh, Rosalina is literally a deity, okay? I suppose, but you know all the press she's going to get. Uh, people compare her to, uh, like... Nintendo's Lightning from Final Fantasy, and I can kind of see why they think that. Uh huh. But then again, you're Captain Cynicism, so. Well, this is Captain. I heard this on V, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Son of a bitch. They're uh, they're my uh, cynicism uh, camadre, compadres, comrades. <laughs> cynicism in arms. Man, I'm just getting belted with items today. And I know that's how Mario Kart works, so don't bother leaving a comment about it. If you had to add a character from another Nintendo game into Mario Kart, you know, like Link in um, Mario Kart 8, who would you choose? Hmm, if I had to add another Nintendo character, I suppose I'd add... Oh, I know, another Mario representative. Well, it's Mario Kart, mate. 
Well, exactly. See, I've solved the problem for you. Well, remove the sarcasm and the cynicism. Like, I'm asking an honest question here. Hmm. If I had to pick another character, then, I would go with... Oh, uh, I'd do somebody that everybody would hate. i just <laughs> put in Tangle. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well, I, I, at least we've got the glider sword out, because it could just be his balloon. That's true, that's true, yeah. Oh, he doesn't actually use a cart, he just kind of flies around like a magic fairy fat ass he is. Uh huh. You don't like Tingle very much, do you? Most people don't. <laughs> well, you know, I can take him or leave him. He became a slave driver in Wind Waker, though. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of opposed to that myself. Also, like, if you dig around in uh, the tunnels behind where he was caged, there's schools and whatnot everywhere. Cripes. Yeah, I think Awkward Zombie did a strip about that. I guess that's why Tingle has those weird requests for meat. Yeah. I guess that's why he was locked up. Turns out they were doing us a favor. Well, that was a complete shit pile. Eh. <sighs> One point for Hell Dragon. I like how their cards keep going, even though Bowser just kind of lays back and goes, uh... <laughs> I didn't even want to come in today. If the cars can drive themselves, why am I here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's alright, it's on cruise control. I'm sitting pretty with three points right now. The big three-pointer. <laughs> oh, big ba man. Oh, baby, a triple. Precious life giving water. Water giveth and it taketh <laughs> away. Yeah, nature's a cruel mistress. Like volcanoes, you try to drink lava and you die. What's going on? That just gives you astigmatism, doesn't it? Mm. Although, to be fair, if you went near lava, you'd probably burst into flames. That's true, but except if you're in a movie, then you're perfectly <laughs> okay. Or a Sonic game. That's true. Or an American game judging by the stage. See, if you're a fictional character, you're utterly invincible until the writer doesn't want you anymore. Yeah. It's just like real life. I, I don't know like which executive Wiley Coyote pissed off, but that guy can't catch a break. Well, I don't know. Uh, we always knew Mel Blanc was totally evil, so. Yeah. Oh my god, I, I almost fell off like twice, but I did not for some weird reason. Oh, that was a really boring ending to what could have been an exciting story. It's a thrill a minute when you play Mario Kart 7. <laughs> Frill hater machine. I kind of meant to say Frill hater dragon there and I totally messed it up. My apologies. And now I go into the lava, but for some reason this doesn't turn me into dry Bowser. No. Which would give me more superpowers, I suppose. I mean, at that point, uh, Bowser is basically a lich, so... Actually, you bring up a good point. What if there were, like, elements in stages that could turn you temporarily into a different character? Like, a well, I'm not sure what else, like, uh, I guess if, you know, like, Mario hits, like, a, you know, a Tanuki, he becomes Tanuki Mario, and that's supposed to do something, but it doesn't. Or, like, if and Mario... And everybody just makes fun of him because he looks stupid. Or if Mario gets a fire flower, he turns into fire Mario temporarily. Well, if he falls in the lava, he can become Lava Mario. It's this nice little conical pile of ash. Do, 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 do. Doing pretty good so far. Hey, hey, that's not fair. I hit an invincibility star and I fell into the lava and I died. I'm pretty sure, guys, it's supposed to protect you from that. Uh-huh. That is totally inaccurate. Well, to be fair, even Supersonic can't survive bottomless pits and being squashed. That's true. Which doesn't really make a lot of sense. He's using the Chaos Emeralds. He is literally like the force of the universe, and yet he can't break stuff that tries to squash him. You would think that Chaos Emeralds would be able to withstand crushing pressure being diamonds, you know? Because uh -huh. they kind of already did that, but apparently not. That's just when they quit. Well, no, you know what? Fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> Chaos Emeralds are barrels, I'm pretty sure. Because, like, in the... 
<sighs> In the parallel universe, they're called the Anarchy Barrels. And now you know. Is that like a New 52 thing? No, that was an Appenders error thing, I think. Okay, well, it's just as bad, then. Well, actually, I'm not sure, because that existed, like, in the somewhat modern age as well. In Pender's time, we had stuff like realistic humans and romance and... Oh, my God, have you seen the latest shot he put out? During the dark period. <laughs> the time when the wolves crawled to the black moon. <laughs> no, it is our destiny. Yeah, I've seen like the new stuff he pulled out, and I said there, and I said to myself, you know what? I love that game. I had to run it in Windows ninety five because DOS would not take it. Uh, no, no, I mean the original stuff with that skunk character. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that one too. I was just, oh my god. <laughs> I'm sure he's a competent artist. Why? No, he's he... not. No, he's not. Well, I've seen I... I've seen some of his Star Trek stuff he's done, like rough sketches, and they were pretty good. So I don't know why he's wasting time. Maybe he just wants to pander to the furry fan base? Sonic comics are the only place that he's really known success. Of course he's going to try and grab that as much as possible. It's not going to fucking work, because unlike Penders, I live in a place that's very special called reality. Here in reality, not everything works out the way you want it to, especially if you're an incompetent piece of shit. Oh, so damn. there you go. Cast in shade, level 5. Alright, I'm down for a bit of Rainbow Road. Well, I'll be down because I'll fall off. Wee. Although, technically I should be able to float since it's space. I don't know, Rosalina isn't in this race, I don't think, so she can't help me. Also, I'm Bowser and she hates me, so... Yeah, yeah. To be fair, Bowser did try to take over the universe. Well, what has he done recently? Um, what's the most recent Mario game? I'm trying to think. Uh, new Super Mario World? The, uh, you know, the Wii U one? That's... That's Super Mario 3D World, there's no new in the title at all, mate. Well, how are people gonna know what's the latest <laughs> game That's such an old joke, but it's still pretty funny at the same time. Well, that's because Nintendo still keeps doing it. Yeah, I don't think they think ahead enough. Like, in 20 years time, new 3DS XL. Not gonna have any meaning. I thought they already had a new 3DS XL. Like, you can get the normal new 3DS, and then you can get the bigger new 3DS, and then you can get the one that takes the most power, but it has the most feature, and it comes with frequent flyer miles or something, I don't know. What, what's sad there is I know you're making a lame joke, but I got slightly confused for a second. Yeah, hey, you're if, trying, I'm starting to confuse it with the real thing, that's sad. Uh, and if a giga nerd like me gets confused, God knows what the average consumer thinks. Damn, man. That was brutal. I just got shin off, good and proper. That means to be bombed in one's face. Urban Dictionary. I will not be denied! Third place. It's the place to be. Hi, you, re you really like sixth place, don't you? If I get three of them in a row, I can summon the uh, great one to take care of my enemies. <laughs> There's a drive for you. I think this uh, next race, or maybe the one after... It might be this one will be the last Mario Kart 7 race, and then we'll take a quick five minute break just to get some refreshment, and then we'll move on to eight. Alright. Alright, what race is it gonna be? One hopefully done on the ground. Yep. Although, Mario Kart 8 has been defying that. <laughs> I think they could have done more, but uh, I guess we'll have to wait until Mario Kart 9 to see how the series evolves. Okay, I guess. We're going to do the HD remix of the stage we were just on. Yeah. All right, let's hope this goes better than the last Rainbow Road attempt. Don't look too long at that Mario Kart sign, it'll give you a seizure. Jesus. You, do you play with 3D on? No. Good. I never found it to be a very useful feature at all. Although it does look really good in Link Between Worlds. I'm mm. not going to lie. Yeah. But at the yeah. same time, it drains battery power, so meh. Nah. 
I've heard tell of like some people using it for dream drop distance, and I don't know how your eyes survive the strain of that, because like even normally it's kind of hard to watch. Yeah, that is the feeling I get when I play Dream Drop Distance. <laughs> Wonder when we're gonna get some new Kingdom Hearts free like screens and whatnot. I'm personally waiting to be disappointed as much as you are, so we'll just have to wait. Like well, you're bitch regardless, so. That's true. I probably will. <laughs> Like, every time I bring it up, I'm like, but the gameplay's good, I don't care, I want to complain about the story. Well, sometimes the gameplay isn't very good. I will freely tell you that Birth by Sleep has the best Kingdom Hearts gameplay, bar none. <laughs> Which one is second, would you say? Uh, I guess Dream... I want to say Dream Dot Distance, but it does a lot that I really don't agree with. There's a lot of clutter and jank in that game. Yeah, it's basically just Birth by Sleep, but bloated and unnecessary. Like, if they just streamed it back down to Birth by Sleep levels, it'd be pretty darn good as well. <laughs> Sorry, I was remembering your metaphor for it. Dream Drop Distance is like a sweater. You buy it in a store. Oh, yeah, that was a good <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm looking forward to returning to the series. Will, be, will we be covering any Kingdom Hearts games before 3 inevitably comes out? I don't know. Probably not. I have no desire to do 358 slash 2, and neither should you. Mm -hmm. It's like either a redo of 1, because I think 1 needs it more than 2, or like RE Chain of Memories or something. I have no desire to redo any of them, personally. And I really, I don't really see the point in doing RE Chain of Memories anyway. I mean, ultimately, I don't know. Like, I just don't think... There's been a lot of problems I've had just in general with how they just approach the game releases, so... Mm -hmm. Like, it's past about 10 years since Kingdom Hearts 2 was released, so it's getting a bit ridiculous at this point. Yeah, it's kind of hard for a fan to actually follow them, but... <laughs> okay, that was weird. <laughs> what? What happened? I got a bullet bill at the last minute, then the race in it, then the bullet bill jumped off the track and careened into space. <laughs> okay, I guess. Then I looked over the distance. Oh, there's a mass relay. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, guys, that'll do it for Mario Kart 7. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back for Mario Kart 8. Hey, guys, welcome back. We're going to play a bit of Mario Kart 8 now, and uh, I'm going to lead with Matt Wario. By God, it was a bit of a clusterfuck to uh, get this one started, because, like, Helldragon could not connect at all, and we couldn't figure out why. Um, I think it's faulty room programming from Nintendo. Possibly, possibly. And top 65. <laughs> I was wondering why there was enough of me in that lobby. And now I just gotta remember how to play Mario Kart 8, because it's been a bit. And he's orange as well, so he's automatically better. Well, I don't know. Orange isn't... Maybe it's a good color. Well, we'll see how he races. You don't own Mario Kart 8, do you? No, I have Mario Kart 8. I should have really phrased that a different way. How often do you play Mario Kart 8? I really don't play that much. I'm going to be honest with you. Only reason I got it was because of the free game deal. And uh, I wanted Wind Waker. So there you go. How, how did you fare on Wind Waker? Um, I'm fairly far in it. I really need to go back. I think I'm on something where I was like, ah, I really don't feel like doing this right now. And then I just kind of moved on to more interesting things. Uh -huh. I have all these other games I play, so... I've got a new rival now in this Entom 65 guy. I remember when Nintendo was developing that, but then it didn't really work out in the long run. Just like the Vitality Sensor. Oh yeah. What happened to that anyway? What happened to the whole quality of life dealio? I don't know. What happened to the Nintendo TV II? Oh, Nintendo TV. Yeah, what happened to that? Well, it came out in America, I think, but they recently shelved it. Like, unceremoniously, the Europe version. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking with that, really. Like, two whole years, and then, oh, sorry, it's just not coming along. That's a feature on the box. That's true. So, you know, advertising and then not delivering. I, I'd expect that from Molyneux, not from Nintendo, really. I expect that from a lot of Kickstarters. That's why I'm never disappointed. <laughs> On my green beauties, oh, they all destroy each other. Okay. I really like this course. 
It's alright. I don't know why everybody's so, you know, happy about it all the time. It's not really that great. Because it's like a it's like a downhill race kind of thing, and downhill races are awesome. I guess. What is it with you and cynicism regarding Mario Kart? <laughs> I don't know, I just I, I guess it just kinda tends to be my my humors must be in balance. That's must be what it is. <laughs> Get ye to a doctor. I'll take myself to the vet. Clearly I need it. Well, at least I beat my doppelganger. And really, that's important before they kill you and take over your life. Uh huh. Good. Good. Well, you know, seven's a lucky number. Huh. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to get your salt in, it's not working. That's because I, I know this isn't my game, so, eh, I don't really mind. I was only pretending to be bad at Mario Kart. Dolphin Shoals. I like Dolphin Shoals. Yeah, let's do it. Of course, everybody else will pick the worst one, the uh, fucking Sherbert land or whatever. Mm, yeah, not a fan of that myself. Oh, that's Riot, I think. The dude with the uh, silver glasses. I also have silver glasses. We must have a glasses battle. He was like round at one night. His are like chunky, chunky glasses. Well, at least uh, they picked my stage, so in a way I do win. I'm seeing a bit of overlap between like people who are in the uh, seven session and this like Sirachi over there. That's kind of neat to uh, kind of see them cross over for these different you know versions of Mario Kart. I, I like how a lot of people dropped out like after our final race because they knew the hour was up and that we'd be switching games. Clever tricks for a Mario Kart. It's good to have people who serve your whims. <laughs> I don't know why th that line from that John Tron review just sticks with me. I think it's the way you said it. What line was it? You did not know that she was the ghost, but in fact I was the ghost. Clever tricks for a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> that review is fucking amazing. Both those videos. Uh, which review was that? That that was the go the Goosebumps one. Oh yeah, yeah. Those tend to be pretty good. And then he did, you know, Are You Afraid of the Dark or whatever. I think the Goosebumps is probably my favorite one too, because the acting does get pretty bad in that series. Uh -huh. I think... Um... This isn't to say, like, the Are oh, You Afraid of the Dark one was bad, but Clock Tower, the review, was so good, I think I don't... I don't think he could have topped that. Sorry, I'm so hyped for Jontron that I'm kind of slurring my words right now. I liked the uh, Clock Tower review, I just didn't like the game, because that kind of shit freaks me out, I'll be honest. Uh-huh. I, I really did not want to watch that. <laughs> I take it you're not one for, like, Five Nights at Freddy's and the like? No, no, I don't like... Well... I do have to, I do think that Clock Tower is a better kind of horror game because it builds this atmosphere and that really kind of fucks you up more than like the jump scare, jump scare stuff that you know Five Nights does. <laughs> a jump share, it's like the new Five Nights at Freddy's now with Facebook sharing. Well that's what happens when AAA gets their hands on it, you know. Well, EA the... presents a horror game, Dead uh, Space 3. Oh, uh, <laughs> well that's like an action horror game. Yeah, that didn't really work out, did it? And look what happened to the series. It's that you'll notice that EA is remarkably good at maximizing the short term, fucking it up, and then making sure that franchise stays dead. Uh -huh. Which is kind of weird for a business, but I don't know. I guess I'm not an executive. Well, that business model is fuck you, got mine. Pretty much, yeah. So, fuck him. I don't support crap, and neither should you. Yeah, so unsubscribe right now. Please don't. I got a family of cats to feed. I'm like, why don't you just shoot me in the face with the amount of stuff you're chucking at me right now? <laughs> yeah, they need guns for the next Mario Kart. That'd be awesome. <laughs> just do drive-by executions. That'll be great. Perfect time to bring back uh, two people in one car. Like, one person could drive, the other person could literally shoot. When Luigi is pushed over the line, he has to make a decision. A decision that may affect the rest of his Mario Kart days forever. Ugh, oh, Crisis on Infinite Cards. I'd play slash read it. I think Moon's been playing for a while. You see, the thing is, with um, MK8 Tourneys, people can like play whenever, so they can accumulate many, many points. Um, I'm up for a bit of drifting action. Uh, random is the order of the day. Uh-huh. It's not like seven, where you can just pick whatever you like. Yeah. 
This way we kind of get a bit more uh, track variety, I admit, but still. What time did we actually start, like, this session proper? Like, not di disregard the whole technical issue stuff. Uh, did we start at 1? I thought we started at 1. Oh, Something no. close to that. We started well after that. I think, like, quarter past. Yeah, okay. So we'll, like, end at quarter past 8, my time. I like how I picked my stage again, and I was the only one that got random. Mm. It's that Hell Dragon look, I guess. Oh, it's okay, because I love this stage. Yeah, it's a good stage. <sighs> I can't wait until Nintendo can utilize HD to its fullest potential and stop using Bloom like a lot of early HD games did. Yeah, that's true. I mean, don't you think it's still kind of a problem, though? Hmm. Zelda use seems to like have that problem very slightly. Not as bad as this. Yeah, yeah, like they're obviously going to be uh, you know, working on that, but we'll have to see. Like I'm I'm really excited to how they're kind of doing uh, you know, Zelda U and how they're approaching the world and things like that. Uh, there's a problem of like is it going to be too empty though? Yeah, I, hopefully they'll be able to uh, make it work. I think they will. Like, I think it'll be a kind of a really cool overworld kind of thing. Like, they described it as, like, Zelda 1, basically, on steroids, and I'm like, that actually sounds really fun. And the first glance, like, a link between worlds seems empty, but the world is pretty lively. Not the best kind of, like, comparison, but, you know, I am racing right now. I mean, like, Link Between Worlds, that's just, like, uh, the Link you know, to the past map, right? Uh-huh. I haven't actually played A Link to the Past, so it was honestly all kind of new for me. I did, and it annoyed me because I was getting touch damage to death a lot, and also the boss of the Tower of Hera can go fuck itself. Yeah, and they I, I know i know about that, at least, and I know they didn't make it kind of easier for this next go-round. Uh -huh. Well, it's not so much easier, it's just less frustrating. Like, if the boss can defeat you normally, that's one thing. But being pushed off and forced to restart isn't really... Well, it's a sort of challenging, but it's the frustrating kind. There's like a fine line you have to tread. It's like, uh, you know that boss, the, uh, the, uh, Dungeon 8 boss in Link's Awakening with the eagle that could push you up? I always thought you restart the fight when that happens, but no. It, uh, turns out, you know, you can just kind of continue normally. Uh, a communication error has occurred. Oh, is that right? Yeah. I'll try and rejoin you as fast as I can, I guess. Alright. That is the first time this has happened. That's weird, because you think it would have hit me, too. Yeah. Like, here's a spoiler, I'm not doing very good. <laughs> yes, join HFC Mario Kart Mondays, thank you. Well, thankfully the room was full. And it will default to having a CPU person in my place, so uh, hopefully I'll just join in the next race. In the meantime, I'm just going to sit here and watch you guys. And we just finished, I got fifth. Nice. <laughs> well, at least I was saved an embarrassing loss. <laughs> a brief glimpse of everyone at the starting line celebrating their victory. Hmm. <laughs> You know who would be good for a Mario Kart racer? And I realize I asked you this in the seventh session, but I've come up with an answer now. What? Olimar. Olimar might be interesting. Uh, is that you or me, or did somebody else take your me again? I don't know. It says I'm currently spectating. Get ready. I guess I have to watch you guys race. Oh, well. I'm Dan's clown with that. Because we got, like, uh, for some reason, everybody wants to be your me today, and that's kind of confusing, mm. I'll be honest. Well, there's Entom65, my horrific doppelganger. And then there's another one here that kind of looks like you, but it's thinner, so I don't know. <laughs> it's me from the future. Oh, I hope I haven't got kicked out of the room. Oh, that'd be bad. Yeah, that room's full. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. That me uh, I was talking about is named Sora, apparently. You will join the next race. Sit tight. Well, I hope it puts me in the right room. That would be good. Right, I'm just going to follow you. This is kind of like screen share, but on a grander scale. Sort of like that, yeah. <laughs> B 
Yeah, all right. I want to see the skyline. <laughs> I like the not Eiffel Tower down below. It's made up of mushrooms and like question mark blocks. Hey, below you can see them do the rhythm thief. Oh, the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I meant the cereal. What do you think? Mmm, <laughs> it's thief tastic. I can taste all of the notes. I could like not. Do re mi fa so good. <laughs> Uh, this is do re mi fa so la ti so so. Kind of hard to like make up a joke on the fly. So what's your controller of choice for uh, Mario Kart Mondays, mate? I'm just using the gamepad since I'm uh, playing this close to my PC. Fair enough. It's convenient in that regard, I suppose. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, I love how I don't actually have to turn on my TV to do all this. I can just kind of pop on over here. <laughs> well worth the $250. I know, I'm paying for quality here. <laughs> you got yours for free. That's true, that's true. And I definitely do appreciate that, because without that, none of this would probably be possible. Uh -huh, nice. Now I can fail for all of my fans. It's great. Uh -huh. I don't even want to kill myself. <laughs> Man, you're... No, I think Bowser's doing that enough for you. Not the best performance I've seen from you. Well, if this was Smash, it'd be different. I told you, if I get my Mega Man cart, I might actually be good. <laughs> okay, I am in. This is good. This is good. Excellent. Royal Raceway. Let's hope it doesn't keep communication error-ing, because I am not restarting. Uh, I also want Royal Raceway. Okay, there's the familiar Chunky Tom I know. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not staying this way, so don't get used to it. That's true. I might tackle on an extra race at the end just to make up for the communication error bollocks earlier. Fair enough. Just an extra few minutes or so. <sighs> Alright. I want to have an entire race where everyone is a different Entom in a different colour. Call it the Entomophon. Oh wait, no, we've had enough of those already. Dream Gliders. That sounds like a magical girl anime in the Mario Kart universe. Wait, you say that, but there's like a thing here. Yeah, Women of Racing Organization. And Birdo's on it. Guess who's not in the game? <laughs> that is just, you know, that is misogynist or... I don't know, it would it be misogynist to Birdo? First off, we have to still determine what Birdo is, and I think even scientists are still kind of out on that, out to yeah, lunch. This is as far as you go. I thought it was cool when uh, Birdo teamed up with, uh, you know, Popple in Superstar Saga. Did I mention that game is great lately? It is fucking fantastic, is what it is. I actually have very few bad things to say about it. I believe it's pretty damn close to the perfect game. I can find almost no flaws with that game. I can find one. What? Barrel minigame. Okay, the barrel minigame is bad. It's bad, but beyond that, the whole experience is just so enjoyable. Oh, I'm coming for you, Riot. Okay, maybe not. Like a little clack, don't talk back. I was just bumping my gold mushroom there. Frantic mode, ladies and germs. That's more fun this way. I suppose it is the distilled essence of Mario Kart. You get a mushroom, and you get a mushroom. Everyone's getting mushrooms. Except the guy who needs him, of course. Of course. Is he using it? Yeah, he's using an orange Yoshi. I don't know why I'm so attached to, like, purple, orange, and, like, brown Yoshis. I think it's just Yoshi's Island, really. Which, uh, which color Yoshi lets you know if the Yoshi's ripe or not? <laughs> I think that would be red Yoshi.
Well, I was so happy to go to the Yoshi's Island in uh, Paper Mario 64. I'm very easy to please. You know, I nitpick a lot, but I'm actually very easy to please. I need to, like, play that game again since I have it. Eh. That's kind of terrible. And the victory music kind of glitched there. It went on for longer than it meant to. What ifs? <sighs> that one race kind of put me behind a lot. I gotta try and claw back a victory now. Wow, I finally got back into the room. Jesus, we're having some communication errors tonight. You know, just for that toe toe pop. We're having Nintendo errors tonight. <laughs> for the first time ever, Mario Kart Monday's actual editing. No, I'm not getting Toad's turn back. I don't <laughs> care. Because, you know, I, I kind of wanted this to be a bit more casual, just so it like stands out against Smash Saturdays. Also, I'm kind of lazy on a Monday, so that's my excuse. But uh, one communication error was funny. Multiple ones, not so much. I'm fine with any of these tracks, really. As long as it's not Yoshi's Valley. <laughs> that's going to be one of the randoms. Oh, thank oh, God. Oh, it's not okay. But it's going to be a shorter amount of races that you'll see tonight, and uh, a greater ratio of Mount Warrior works out for me, I guess. I suppose, if we're talking about fractions. <sighs> Let's go. I've noticed it tends to like boot people from the rooms a lot, which is lucky for me, because I'm able to get back in. Not so lucky for the people who want to race with you or I. Yeah, yeah, they definitely, like, Nintendo really kind of needs to... They seem to be getting better about this, but I think there's still a ways to go. Mm -hmm. A lot of love for Bowser tonight in this group. We've got Aerox. You use him, obviously. Oh, I guess. He's not like a main. I just kind of picked Bowser because nobody else is really that interesting. See, there's a Mega Man, like I said. Man, they should make, like, they probably, uh, they'll never be able to do this, of course, but they had, like, Mega Man Kart DLC, that would be amazing! Well, you know, like, the, uh, Mario Kart 8 uses Amiibos already, right? Uh, yeah. For costumes and the like. Well, I mean, like, no, like a traditional, like, like a proper, hey, you can get Mega Man in your Mario Kart game. Rush car. It's not like that, he would probably drive a rush car, yeah, that'd be awesome, like, that's like Nintendo's modus operandi these days, looks like. Like, they're doing a lot of crossovers with all these other third parties and the kind of stuff. It works for me. So I'm thinking, like, it would be awesome if, like, Capcom were to, like, work with a Nintendo and put Mega Man in more stuff. Because that's really the only way we're going to get him. Yeah, let Nintendo make a Mega Man game. You know, like how Capcom made the Oracle games of Minish Cap? Yeah, and, uh, obviously, um... You know, like, Capcom has, like, different studios make other Mega Man games in the past, so having Nintendo make one would actually make sense, and it'd probably be really good. Split the profits, everyone goes home a happy chappy. Oh, I love drif drifting around these bends. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have waited until you were about to hit the finish line before I threw that. That's okay, because we're all equalized now, so it doesn't matter. Nobody can have fun, because if everybody has fun, no one will. Yeah. How does someone get in front of me? I uh, sometimes just don't know in terms of, like, Mario Kart or whatever. Oh, that would have been the greatest snipe if there wasn't, like, that little bit of online lag that sometimes makes, like, people appear in front of you more than they actually are. Or the other way around, I guess. Hello, Luigi. Get out of shot, please. No, now is Ouija time. Well, Luigi time, he has to get it from other people. Because they're not going to give him anymore. <laughs> not after that year. <laughs> Luigi can't get the time of day anymore. They sure want me to play Shy Guy Falls. Too bad I will not select it. Oh, it's all about Mario Circuit. The stage so good, they put it in Smash Bros. Now, the pattern we're seeing here is I get to play a full race, and then the next race has a communication error. So hopefully this does not become a running trend. It's our favorite running gag. I don't want to play Shy Guy Falls. <laughs> Well, suck it up, because you are. Oh, I see Mario 128 is here, from Smash Saturdays. Hello? Uh, he's not actually in the room. 
I can't talk to him. I suppose he can reply to you when this goes up on YouTube. Alright, good luck, and uh, fall off the ledge. Well, I've been doing that a lot lately, so... I probably should have kept that behind me as a shield. It's been a long time since I remembered the basic tenets of Mario Kart strategy. I'm just gonna go over the ledge, if you don't mind. Scenic tour mode is go. <laughs> they should allow you to do that. Just give you, like, a debug mode so you can look around the levels and whatnot. Well, that would be really boring, I admit, so... Well, no, not with, like, all these fancy HD graphics and the like. Well, I guess, but what else could you do? Oh, oh, my oh boy, God. the track loops. I didn't expect that. <laughs> You're so negative, Jesus. A lot of the time, I think you just do it to piss me off, I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes. <laughs> the little sly note in your voice. Sometimes, no, I guess I'm just super cynical. I don't know. It's a learned behavior. It's a living. It's nice to just be able to play Mario Kart without communication error. I haven't been this salty since, like, the days of Mario Kart Wii. Yeah, you know, uh, like, personally, I draw the line being able to play the fucking game. You know, yeah, just take it out of the box. It's too much, mate, it's too much. I can only watch long plays on YouTube nowadays, that's how traumatized I am. I forgot, there was another lap. I tend to be doing that a lot lately. Must be getting old. You're getting old, Tom. You're getting old. Bullshit! It suddenly became the Iron Sheik for a minute there. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Break your card. Make your humble. Make your humble. <laughs> like he's clearing his throat or something? Uh, it's kind of like that, yeah. I don't apologize for that at all. Oh, hello, THD. Hi. How are you? Not bad. <laughs> the greatest... <Not> you, <laughs> the greatest karma. All because I couldn't drift properly at the end. I was pressing the button and it didn't work. Huh? Nicely done. <laughs> Can you try that again, but not be bad this time? Just the fucking smug, like, swerve from around the corner across the finish line from Bowser is what made it funny. Oh, well. Put that in slow-mo and put it on YouTube. You'll get all of the hits. All of the hits. Slap top cruise. Yep, yep. No, I don't want the fucking airplane. Go with the skyship. Oh, no. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, I want the airplane. Sorry. I want the airport. Me, 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 me. <laughs> this isn't Hell Dragon Cart Mondays. Probably gonna no no ah one more oh well <laughs> your choice sucks your choice sucks that's your, why I didn't want it your choice sucks your choice suck this choice sucks okay glad we settled though <sighs> let's go they haven't seen Jack ever since he went up this beanstalk. <laughs> He's been missing for weeks. Yeah, you gotta like complete everything in mirror mode to unlock him. <laughs> Here is your fortnightly reminder that there is a remix of this in Smash Bros. Oh yeah. It like combines the Thunderhead version with the regular version. I won't let you down, don't let you down. <laughs> Why is that? <coughs> Your self-affirmation. Something like that. I'm a bullet. I got hit by a guy named Roy who is also using Roy. 
Are you sure that's not like the CPU? Or oh no no no, there were twelve people here. Never mind. Just a weird freaky coincidence. Take the sneaky shortcut. Yeah. Final lap. Can't see shit, Captain. Oh, that drifting, so beautiful. Motherfucker. Where was the beautiful drifting there, Tom? <laughs> out the... Wow, I don't know where that joke was going, never mind. <laughs> were, were, were you trying to say out the door, window? <laughs> whoa, whoa, I was trying to whoa. <laughs> out the room. <laughs> Hell Dragon, the stutter remix. I'm pretty good at that, stuttering. Yeah. I suppose if you're gonna be something, be good at something cool. You're still beating me overall, but then again, I was communication errored out of a couple of races. That's true, so that doesn't really count. I'll oh, have to beat the next few, I guess. I think we've got time for, let's see, 3, 6, 9, 12. About five more. Five more, huh? Uh-huh. Donut Plane's free! All of those are terrible, so no, I won't be picking that. <sighs> Do -do -do. Watch it land on yours. Pick a course or you die. Okay, cool. Boom, do, 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 Donut Plains is like the equivalent of a kid building a racetrack, but you don't want to say anything bad about it even though it's clearly not that good. So oh. you're like, oh that looks good, Billy! N nice job! But really, you secretly think it could be a lot better. I secretly think you could make a better Mario Kart truck. I probably could, yeah. Oh. That reminds me of like when I was in infant school. Have you ever heard of the show The Crystal Maze? Uh, yes I have, actually. I basically took, like, Lego and Kinect and all this and made my own version, and for some reason there was, like, a Brontosaurus in there. Because there was a spare dinosaur toy, and I thought, you know what, fuck it, put it in there. Why not put dinosaurs in the Crystal Maze? That's a good idea. Uh-huh. Man, that nightmare. This, like, other fun house, that was also a good game show. Yeah, oh, but these are all, like, UK game shows, which I mean, I don't really know a lot about. Ours was fucking awesome, mate, television-wise for kids. I mean, we had some good stuff. We had, uh, like, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. That was a pretty good game show that well, we had. The thing is, we got, like, all of ours plus yours. That's true. So that kind of <laughs> sucks. I guess we were all just turned off by your accents, really. Hello! Welcome to the UK channel! <laughs> Welcome to the BBC for kids! <laughs> Pippity poppity vote for the Tories. That's exactly what the BBC is like over <laughs> here, I agree. Dun, 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 dun. Jesus Christ. I'm just going to hop across the grass now. Not going to lie, this probably could have gone a lot better. Well, don't pick a course that's Donut Plains next time. No, I want to finish, let me finish. Okay, I'm cool. Well, Captain A was really far behind, so I don't really feel all that bad. More like Captain Z. Oh, because... Captain was... F. <laughs> the game loser. 
Oh, now I just feel like an asshole because I ain't doing that great either, let's be honest. Uh, you're still ahead of me on the rankings, though, but again, technicalities. Yeah, so. Uh, let's see. Shy Guy Falls? No, nah, Warrior Stadium. Warrior Stadium ain't that great either. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's a... okay. It's okay. <laughs> but we got what I wanted, so it all works out. Where shall we put the anti-gravity in this track? Hmm. <laughs> I know, sir, said the person who was definitely getting a promotion that day. <sighs> Alrighty. You remember when Mario started his own motor company and he started to fund all these races? Man, he has franchised the fuck out. Mario is minted. Don't believe the lies that he's working class, okay? He's very clearly, like, upper middle class at the very least. I guess that's why it's Mario Kart, you know, because yeah. clearly he owns the rights. <laughs> Not like Mario Limousine or anything. Mario Limousine Services, we take you where you need to go. Actually, I got another anecdote for you, and I swear this is true. I was like really into like Sonic Adventure back in the day, just like because it was like an, an early 3D title. So sometimes I'd just spend time running around, and for whatever reason, I don't know why, I came up with the idea of like this thing, it was like a sim game, where you basically shuttle people back and forth from Station Square to the Mystic Ruins. It was like something Sonic Airlines. That's... It's sad is what it is, I recognize that now. Yeah, sad. Sad's a good word for that, I agree. Fuck off, okay? It could be a great game. Why did I slow down there? I don't know. <laughs> the pure rage of me, my indignation did that. I also like how I went from, yeah, this is a bad idea, to fuck you, it could be great. That's just me, I guess. Wait until the medication kicks in, I'll level out a bit. And why am I slowing down again? I'm, I've got it on the gas, I don't know what's going on. Step on the gas. Step on the brake. Now turn to your left. Now turn to your right. What is this, NASCAR? <laughs> you are now outside the car. You have failed. Fuck. Was that you? Do you know why you fell off the ledge? <laughs> do I know why I fell off the ledge? Uh, Helldragon and I watch Game Center CX sometimes, which is probably the best video game show ever. Or at least, it, it's in the top ten at the very least. And um, the Parappa the, Ep Parappa the Rapper episode was pretty good. I'd say it's probably one of the best video game shows, period. Yeah. It's not full of that typical YouTube crap you tend to see. Uh-huh. Meanwhile, here's some YouTube crap for your channel. Yeah. Hope you're enjoying this YouTube crap. <laughs> High-quality YouTube crap can't be found anywhere else. We only mine it in the Alps. Bad Let's Plays. Yummy, yummy. Toad's Turnpike. Dummy, dummy. Right, we got time for a few more. It's a music park today. <sighs> if this lands on Dry Dry Desert, I swear to God. I would be pretty mad too, because Dry Dry Desert's kind of lame. Or as Donny calls it, Egypt. Alright, let's face our demons together. <laughs> You know, actually, jokes aside, I don't hate this stage that much. I just didn't like getting it all those times. It was just the frequency of how often it came up. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty much it. I still think those arrow things are, like, straight out of that one Sonic level in Adventure 2, where you have to, like, change gravity around. Look up, stupid. That's what I think they are. <laughs> Race wow, up, stupid. the sky! That looks great! You Why can... didn't we notice that before? You see that? You could race on that sky. <laughs> drift in, drift in. Aw. Oh. Probably should have thrown that backwards. Oh well. People are just being mean tonight, Hell Dragon. Well, nobody here can drive on the uh, Toad's turn by, I guess you've noticed. Uh -huh.
I am racing at Bullet Bell, this is kind of hype. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's Edtom65 as well. It's like I'm, the I'm Flash. coming for you, my clone. It's like I'm the Flash and he's Professor Zoom. I need to watch that show, because I actually kind of like the Flash. I don't know what the hell Professor Zoom's deal is. He's just kind of a... He's kind of a dumbass when you think about it. Oh, well, I'm just going to... Make sure Wally's life is super bad, because that's how it's supposed to be in the future. And I'm like, bitch, what are you, are you? Did you even think this through? Hell no, of course you didn't. No. I'm sure there's a positively good reason why Professor Zoom is kind of a moron, but you know, I'm really not interested in hearing that. <laughs> Where did he get his doctorate from? The bin. Why does he wear yellow? I know it's the reverse of the Flash, but it doesn't really make him look all that distinguished. Is yellow the reverse of the Flash? Of, of well, red, uh, sorry? Well, the Flash ha uh, wears red and he has like yellow accents, so Zoom is a yellow with red accents. It doesn't work at all. And there were, there were like two, like either Prof Professor Zooms or reverse Flashes, so let's not get it mixed up here. By the way, the best Flash villains are his rogues. Fuck Professor Zoom, he's lame compared to those guys. The rogues are pretty cool, but they're meta-humans now. Well, no, they actually reverted back. Really? They haven't got their powers anymore? I, I, that's what I heard last time. I don't know, I don't fucking follow comics. Oh. Okay, we're gonna kinda make this the last race, because communication errors are biting me in the ass tonight, and I have no idea why. Yeah, I don't know what it is either, so let's get a good random track that is not the Cloud Top one. <laughs> that Top 65 fella's following me about, it's kind of creeping me out. <laughs> He's standing behind you, He's your shadow. A really intense guy, like underneath one of the Cloud Top cruisers. Jesus. <laughs> He's like, I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of the Pillar Men for some reason. Why? I don't know why, okay? I just say what's on my mind and speak what's in my heart. Acceptable. Why not? Never let it be said that MK Mondays does not have a varied track selection. Well, that's because the game enforces that. <laughs> okay. Alright, here we go. Trying a different cart, so we will see how it does. Oh, you go in the pipe frame? No, no, I don't have a pipe frame. What are you using then? I'm using the standard. Oh. Probably not the best choice, but I really don't give a shit, so. Here comes Blue Falcon. Go, Speed Racer. Why am I singing that to the theme of the Jetsons? <laughs> I think Go well, Racer X! I was, gonna, da, 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 da. I, I was gonna say one of the funniest episodes of Dex's Lab, I didn't even realize this was a parody at the time, was the Speed Racer homage. I like the one, was that the same one where they get the, uh, you know, the Sentai robots? Um, no, that was like the Dodgeball episode, I think. No, no, I don't think there was dodgeball, because I had actually seen that not too long ago, and I didn't even know that episode existed. I was like, oh, this is the best thing. Oh, no, no, they're, they're separate episodes, but the one I'm talking about was like, <laughs> Dex's dad is like, oh, I can't believe we lost your sister all those years ago. And Didi was like, I'm right here, Dad. Oh, Didi, where have you been all this time? I was right behind you. Ha-ha. <laughs> and just keep saying ha-ha every so often. I don't know. Early Dexter's life was pretty cool, and then it like went away and came back. The art was different, Dexter had a different voice, it just wasn't as fun. That's what I keep hearing. Like, that's the recurring theme. Well, it wasn't terrible, because even bad Dexter's life is still like perfectly watchable. One of my favorite episodes was the, uh, ironically, since I don't actually play it, the D&D &D episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard about that. I really should watch that, I guess, since I actually know what they're talking about. And you're walking, and you're walking, still walking, and suddenly a dragon pops out, and he's mean, and he's going to eat you! And you cut off the dragon's head, and out pops candy. The end. That's a weird episode. <laughs> well, they had to uh, do that, otherwise it would get banned, obviously. Mm. Well, this has been a fun and... Uh, 
ever e edition of HFC Mario Kart Monday is probably going to turn this into a fort fortnightly thing because I'm um, not as hyped for MK as I am for Smash. Also, need to uh, arrange different co commentators, but otherwise, it's always fun racing with you guys. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we shall see you next time. Bye bye. Peace out.